Hey son, will you plug the battery in for me? Uh, how do I do it? It looks weird. <laughs> you just plug it in, buddy. Just plug it in. Does like the square go to the square side? Does that? Yep. Plug it in. Just plug it in. That was actually easy. <laughs> that was easy. Boom. Whoa. Done. Just plug That's it in. Cool. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. Um, Horizon Hobby Spectrum has actually uh, sent me a few little goodies to try out. All right, we got the S14 Spectrum G2 Smart Charger. All right, S1400. Uh, we've got the G2 batteries to try out. We've got 850 milliamp 3S, 3200 milliamp 30C 3S to try out some of my smaller boats okay this is generation 2 technology okay with this battery you notice anything different okay you notice anything different at all okay it don't have the balance leads it's like a freaking nickel metal battery right all right it cuts a lot of the guesswork out of charging okay um a lot of the new guys if you're new into the hobby i would give this a freaking thought because I, when I first got into the hobby, I, I didn't know which way to go. I didn't know up from down, my, my ass from a hole in the ground. Okay, this battery technology right here cuts a lot of the guesswork out. I had to replace the carpet in my house. And it was probably because I didn't know what the freak I was doing. Okay, this battery, if you, if you leave it fully charged, it automatically discharges its freaking self. No more discharging. No more storage charging. Okay, no more fumbling around with bat balance leads no more cleaning out dirty balance leads no more balance leads to get caught in drive shafts and spur gears okay i could keep going i could keep going and i haven't even used the freaking batteries yet the charger is still in the box i am so stoked about this all right i'm gonna see how smart it is because you know i'm a big dummy and uh it might be smarter than i freaking am let you know what let me quit jacking my jaws let's find out let's find out all right i'm going to give you guys an honest review from from just a regular old ordinary uh rc boater okay i don't know all the fancy uh terminology i don't know i'm like you guys okay i'm gonna give you an honest review whether good or bad all right let's check it out let's get to it okay let me quit jacking my freaking jaws right off the bat with this with this charger okay i notice that the the packaging is is premium okay that's premium all right you can repurpose this box for something else i mean that's premium okay uh you got your your smart charger manual here it's going to tell you everything you need to know i was thinking it was going to be a big book but it's actually pretty pretty thin you know a light read all right i definitely check that out heavy duty power cord all right you don't want to see no thin, you know, 20 gauge freaking wire going into your charger, all right? Uh, yeah, man, hell, you got a four foot charger here, okay? Nice, that's good. Three IC5 connectors, you got a balance port to balance all of your uh, standard batteries. So, um, I'm going to get it plugged in, and we're going to take a look at it, okay? Um, wow, check it out. You got this nice grips, like, uh, almost like the rugged controller, you know, um, it's going to keep your charger in, in good looking shape. Nice plastic, like rubberized feeling buttons here. Nice, nice touch, you know, has a good feel to it. Um, big spectrum logo, nice giant fan on this bad boy. That's got a huge fan in it, man. That's going to be perfect. On off switch in the back. Nice. It's very nice. Very ergonomic, small, compact. You could put it just about anywhere, okay? I'm going to try to use this one-handed. I've got it plugged in. All right, nice heavy-duty cord. Turn it on. Oh, man, it's color screen. <laughs> oh, I'm digging this, y'all. I didn't even realize that. Oh, man, I told you guys I'm a big freaking dummy. All right, so no battery detected. My old charger don't say that. It don't say that. It's just like has a couple numbers on it or something all right so let's uh let's just plug in this 3200 milliamp 30c okay this this battery will uh basically charge at a 16 amp charge rate there okay 
or 5C 16 amps. All right. Um, oh, that's nice. That's nice. I am super excited about this. So I'm going to plug it in. Let's see what we have to do to get it going. All right. I got it plugged in. Smart charge. Initializing smart charging. 3S 3200 milliamp 30C. No way. No freaking way. No way. You don't have to scroll down through all the charging amperage. It automatically does it. Charging at 7 milliamp. Charge rate 3.2 amps. All right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. If you guys are not familiar with your LiPos or how a LiPo freaking works, boom. This is the way to go, you guys. Sorry about the glare on the screen. There's no real way I could reduce that. I apologize. That is cool, man. I didn't even hit a button. I didn't even have to. So if you give this battery to your son, your daughter, your wife. I got my hands full. Can you throw this in the on the charge for me? Sure. How do you do it? Oh, you just plug it in. Just plug it in? Just plug it in. Easy. Boom. <laughs> what? It's, it's that simple, you guys. Initializing charge. Done. D-U-N. Done. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. Gonna go do the maiden with the tug. Try out the the G2 series batteries. I'll let you know what my thoughts are once I'm done. All right, I'll see you in a minute. All right, you guys. So, um, so I've actually, I actually used the batteries two days in a row. Okay, I uh, hadn't had a chance to run the A50s. Those go with my mini hydroplane. Hadn't had a chance to run those yet. Uh, by the way, they fit my hydroplane perfect, and I don't have to worry about the freaking balance leak. But I ran these batteries in the tugboat. Today was my second day. We ran two batteries an hour and a half straight on the tugboat without any hiccups. Okay, yesterday, for about 35 minutes total runtime on one battery, and there was still plenty of juice left. I, uh, uh, each cell was only uh, 3.9, okay, after 30 minutes. So, um pretty cool pretty cool batteries i think that they're going to be great for the beginner okay uh it's going to take some of us uh you know guys that's been in the in the hobby for a long time to 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 get it you know what i'm saying to actually get it because uh with our batteries we we use these balance cords for a lot of different things power and fans auxiliary power uh battery checkers battery alarms uh etc you know what i'm saying and you have to buy a separate analyzer for all of that but they do have it they do offer it and it's probably got a lot more options than this guy right here i know a lot of us like to check how many amps our batteries was or was drawn on our batteries how many uh amps we ran out of the batteries to to do a figuring with brushless motors speed controls and uh and all that so um the analyzer would be perfect for you but it's not cheap okay it's not cheap like this guy all right i've had it for about five years and it's still going strong i, I burn it okay i burnt my I had a battery catch on fire. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know how to store charged batteries. Um, I didn't know, you know, uh, if it was puffed up not to charge it, blah, blah, blah. I had a fire. Um, this fan works. This fan does not. So I've got a fan blowing in, the, in that vent hole right there. Boom. All right. Um, I've got a ton of different adapters for all an assortment of different batteries I have. That's one downfall from the new charger style. You know, you're going to have to redo all of your cords or buy new ones. Okay, that adds up. It adds time. I'm not telling you guys to go out and buy this freaking charger. Well, I kind of am because it's freaking awesome. I mean, you've seen it. My son pl plugged it in with no problem. I didn't have to explain to him how to go through all the settings to get go to, to balance, to storage, or discharge. He just plugs it in. It does it itself. That's freaking awesome. For the new RCer, this thing is right up your alley. Now, one thing I am worried about with these batteries is the fact that they have a computer chip in the battery itself okay 
being a boat guy, we, we come in contact with water, okay? Sometimes there's chemicals in water. I hope they have uh, waterproofed it. They, they advertise it for ground, air, and, and water. So uh, that's just one thing I am worried about, which I will do a long-term review on these batteries eventually. And I uh, will tell you, I'll let you know if I have any issues with the, with the chip in this battery uh, going bad due to water. That's the only... That's, re that's the really the only thing that I'm curious about with these batteries, okay, is the computer chip. That is it. I like them. I like them. Um, it's outside the box. It's a new technology, and I think it could possibly catch on with other companies. Uh, I, simple. Simplicity. That's what I like. And, uh, you know, you might see some new companies uh, start doing this, or you might... Uh, it might be just something that fades out that nobody it really don't catch on but I think it's it's a great technology it could be very useful especially uh, you got kids you're out there you know just plug it in just freaking plug it in honest reviews honest boat reviews um, give it to you from the the average Joe standpoint okay honest all right i get tickled to death when i get new products i do i do i want to give you guys the best experience when you're on my channel uh you guys look at my aft again <laughs> we'll see you next time big b here with ironclad rc channel where we tinker test and tune everything uh don't forget to ring the little bell subscribe like comment all that good good